What's up, ladies and gents? What is going on? Welcome to the stream today. We're going to start getting a little bit of a uh, schedule going back again uh, with every week. So thank you guys for tuning in on this wonderful Monday. Hopefully you all are having a great week. And hopefully it's the start of something fresh, new, and adventurous in your daily life. And uh, I'm just glad to be able to be a part of it. So with that being said, we're going to play something that we've really never played before. So let me just get this out of the way. Uh, I've played Red Dead Online before, but very, very little, like just a few minutes, really. When it originally came out, I played it for like maybe a mission or something like that, and then that was it. Never played it again, and that was back on the PlayStation 4 um, when the game originally came out. And uh, I've really never played the PC version before. I mean, I started it up, took a look at it for like a few minutes, but never really got into it or took it serious or, or played it like we're going to be doing today and um, periodically throughout the next uh, few months. There's a bunch of story missions uh, that you can get yourself into. There's uh, bounty hunting that you can get yourself into. There's different roles that the game allows you to do. Uh, with that being said, there's just a lot of different cool things that you can, you know, get into the game. And plus, with how popular Grand Theft Auto Online is... You know, I've been wanting to see, you know, what they've improved in Red Dead Redemption 2's online mode. You know, have they taken it serious? Are still people playing this in 2021? I think it's a good uh, testament to see, you know, just how uh, how it's changed since the last time I really played it, which was back on the PlayStation 4. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, this, as you can see, this is the PC version. Uh, so we'll take a look at the settings that I'm running everything on so you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm working with here. Um, as you can see, our video memory has 24 gigs because this is the uh, RTX 3090 running this. Uh, running, I'm playing it in 4K. I'm only streaming in 2K because I just want to make sure the stream doesn't lag since I'm only using one computer. Uh, so we're streaming it in 1440 uh, with low latency. That way I can actually kind of interact uh, with all of you guys, but, uh, yeah, so when I'm playing in 4k, everything's set up to pretty much max, as you can see, we're just barely below. And that's only so that we can make sure that we get a really good, decent frame rate because this game, even if you turn every setting up to complete max on an RTX 3090 with everything maxed out, you're only going to get about, I would say 40 to 50 frames, which is still respectable. Um, with everything up to max, because this is a this is a game that just requires a lot a lot of computing power. Uh, so you have to have an amazing PC in order to run it, and I do. I have an amazing 11900K processor, uh, a, uh, you know RTX 3090, 64 gigabytes of RAM. I've got the specs. It's just that technology still isn't quite there for running this type of game on everything set up to max. So you got to kind of. I wouldn't say dumb down anything, but things that you that don't really make too much of a difference, you can kind of change and you don't need to have shown. As you can see, most of the things that we're playing on is ultra. So we're not really dumbing down too much. Um, there's just certain things like you don't need particle qualities to be, you know, freaking whatever. You don't you don't need that. It just takes up a, a lot of processing power that you don't really uh, need. Also, we're running with the Vulcan engine. There's going to be a brand new way to run this game coming out soon they haven't mentioned when it's coming out but they're going to be using dlss mode which is coming soon so that's going to be fun because it's going to allow us to be able to set everything up to max and be able to get the frames that we want uh, i love dlss i think it's a great thing that uh, nvidia is doing and i think um if i'm not mistaken uh uh gosh i can't even remember the other company besides nvidia because I haven't used any of their products. I never use... Uh, what is it? What's... Okay, so what's NVIDIA's competitor? I know I've, I've, I'm, I'm making myself sound so stupid here. But for some... I know it starts with an A, but I cannot remember what it is. I literally am, am drawing a blank on... You've got the RTX series, and you've got the NVIDIA cards. What is, what is the other... AMD, thank you, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But AMD has its own thing that they're coming out with that is very similar to DLSS. But um, 
I never use an AMD card, so maybe you guys can tell me how good AMD cards are. Uh, but yeah, so there's just a few things on medium just because particle lighting doesn't really matter too much, but uh, everything else is set to pretty much as max as possible, and we're going to get over 60 um, running this. So um, I'm still having a little bit of a problem with Rockstar's social club or whatever you want to call it. Uh, what happens is when you try to load up this game on PC, at least for me, when I try to load up this game, it immediately says we uh it just won't it won't do it it won't play it's like i can't log into their social club right so the only way i was able to do it is if i went into the rockstar games launcher itself logged out logged back in and now i can actually play it and it connects otherwise it will not connect and you can't play any rockstar game i don't know if anyone else is having those issues but the only way so far that i've been able to fix it is either by using a vpn which i don't like to do because Rockstar considers that illegal, um, but I found at least an alternative method, which is instead of loading the game from the Epic Game Store, um, I click on the Rockstar Games Launcher and then log out and then log back in and then start the game up from there, as opposed to starting it up from the Epic Games Launch. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I yes, I am going. Um, I am going to uh, take my time with the content, uh, with the creator and all that. I want him to look really cool and stuff. You know, this is going to be a true thing. You know, we're going to take our time with some stuff. I did just do a reset, but I really didn't do anything, you know, in the in the game world that much. Uh, I, I probably don't have any gold coins. I know you need gold bars in order to even be able to do any of the roles, but the story missions are available and we can still have lots of fun until we get up to the point where we can get the gold bars to get the roles uh, and that's pretty much what it is. It's a, uh, it's a cash grab. I mean, they want you to pay for the gold bars so that you can get into a role, but you can earn it in game. You just have to do the story missions and you have to do other things to earn it. So, you know, take that as it will. So let's switch over to online and here we are. So we're going to start up red dead online. Let's go time. I'm also going to be playing with a keyboard and mouse. I usually play this game even on PC with, um, a controller. But I need and want to get better with keyboard and mouse. So let's let's give it a shot with keyboard and mouse. It'll pretty much teach us the controls because I don't really know any of the controls with uh, keyboard and mouse as of right now. Because I, like I said, I've only ever played this game with okay, controller. Sir. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him this once. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so here's the character creation screen. We're going to spend a little bit of time in here. So for those of you that don't want to watch this, if you're watching the video after, you can skip ahead a little bit until uh, we get in there. But I want to really like kind of see all of the little nuances that you can do. So I'm going to leave it up to the chat don't try me now. to let me know what you want me to pick. Do you want me to pick a male character or do you want me to pick a female character? Because I know you can uh, pick between both, but how do you even switch? I think you have to do it. Oh, okay, I see. You have to use that. I, I always use WASD, but you got to use uh, your num numpad. Um, I always lean towards when I play any type of multiplayer character or whatever. It's got to be one of you. I always lean towards male. And I, I can see a lot of you already are picking all females. For some reason, males love to be females. I... I, I like, I understand you like to look at females. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a guy. I like to look at females, too. But I'm, I'm happily married, man. Um, and I love my wife. Uh, but it, when I'm... I don't know. When I'm playing a game, I usually like to pick the the gender that I am, which is a male. So, um... Like I said, you can be female or you can be male. I don't think you can do, like, romantic things in this game I'm pretty sure uh, but you know what uh, you know what I don't know uh, you know what no no you know don't get me wrong when 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 a game comes out and it's a female driven game like say um, god what was that game that came out 
control. I love playing as female characters when the game is giving is is when when the narrative is telling that story of a female character. But when I myself can choose between male or female, most of the time, this okay. is who I'm gonna choose just because that's this is who I identify with. And I wanna feel like I am a part of this game. I'm gonna need your details. And I know it's always a controversy on why do guys want to play as females or I mean the same can be said as why females want to play as male because they want to see what it's like well most of the guys say it's because I want to stare at the girl's butt or something and I'm just like oh gosh give me a break you aren't going anywhere and neither am I all right so what's our character's name going to be um okay so normally I would probably put you know just just that right but that doesn't make sense in west right in in, in there was no such thing as a Sinner Strain 01 back in the West. And if you really want to immerse yourself in these types of games, and I like to go all out. So what is, give me some ideas of a good, um, a good Western name, right? And I don't mean something like Wyatt Earp or, or you know, Doc Holliday or something like that. But I mean like a good kind of uh, Western name that, uh, that would be really good. Oh, someone said Darn Tootin'. We could be darn tootin'. We're gonna need a fair record. <laughs> no, no, it's kidding. Uh, let's see. What, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? John Wayne? You want me to be John Wayne, cowboy? Maybe there was a sitter straight out there. Slim Pickens? <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, I, I use... Okay, so I, I, I know I've used this name before. All right. And so a lot of you that know my channel have seen this. I've seen me use this name many, many times. But I actually feel that this name fits in a Western setting. I know it sounds ridiculous, but just think about it. Just just imagine yourself walking in to a town, you know, and imagine yourself with this name as you introduce yourself. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. Oh, man. I tried. It wouldn't let me do it. What if we did... What if I did... Let's see. Ah, it still considers it profanity. Man, it doesn't work. Oh, crap. I really tried. I wanted to be Shits McGee. I, for some reason, I just, I feel like that's like the perfect name for this context of a game. Uh, Shits McGee, but uh, I guess we can't use yeah. that. So we got to think of something else. Um, I wish they'd give you like a random cowboy name generator. would have been really funny. Um, how about... Um, Oh my god, now I just don't know what to pick. You never see your name? I guess, I guess you really don't, so it really doesn't matter too much. So I guess we'll just go with the old tried and true. All right, so appearance. Let's really get into this here. We can rotate our character. <laughs> You can... Okay, so you can zoom into your character. Uh, all right, so let's see. Change your character's appearance. All right, so let's just look at some random ones first. See what it selects. This whole to randomize, all right? I do like, it. I'm pretty amazed for one that the character creation allows you to uh, to change your body type too. You know how hard that is in video games to have more than a few different body types? Like Mass Effect, every single female body type is exactly the same. Every single male body type is exactly the same. It never changes. Every woman has this like tiny, tiny waist, like this hourglass figure. And it's so weird because that's just not how the world is. Uh... And so if you're wanting to make a believable sci-fi adventure, you should not make every single 
alien or female have exactly the same or and male as well uh, there should be different body shapes and different body types we all don't come from the same genes everyone has different genes everyone has a different way of their body coming into itself don't take that the wrong way now uh, this is just the random things uh, you've got different heritage that you can choose from i mean first of all let's just look at these they did a pretty good job for making an online game have good graphics quality like this i know it's dumbed down but i think they did a good job so um we're just gonna you know mess with pretty much everything here uh we'll start with um actually is there a way that we could go back hold on let me let me randomize all one more time get it to where i can actually see his face let's start from there and then we'll we'll go from there all right so heritage we're gonna start at one all right so what type of face do we want? Again, you can zoom in to the face so you can really get an idea. Now that kind of resembles me a little bit because I've got big ears. I mean, you get a lot of heritage options. Uh, I think that one resembles... I don't know, maybe a... Well, the eyes seem like they're a little bit in, but I think maybe we can actually... Yeah, we can change that. I think we can move our eyes in and out. We'll see. If we can't, then maybe we'll change that one more time. But, um... Alright, so let's go to skin tone. Oh, wow, you can only do... What? Oh, okay, I see. All right, so we are not going to be that. Um, let's see. I guess. I guess I could. I could go for this one. And I would think that because this is a western. Um, that. Well, okay. You said heritage, heritage number twelve. Yeah, that guy looks... He looks too old for me. I know I'm an old guy, but... I'm gonna go for nine. And then we'll stick with... This one. I mean, it's... A little bit more complexion-y, but... Change your age. But does it actually change anything? You can go down to 18, but look at the face and see if it... Is actually looking older. I am actually starting to see the wrinkles in the 60-year-old. As you can see, it'll slowly start to fade away. Yeah, that's very subtle, but you can actually see it. Um, if I were to choose my age... I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, so we got different body types so we can choose. I usually always go for athletic because I really feel like since this is a Western setting that most people are going to be athletic for the sense that eating was, I don't know. I mean, they ate a lot better back then. I know that they, they didn't have, I mean, obviously they had candies and, and alcohol and stuff, but they did like everything wasn't processed as much. Like when they went out and hunted their own food, they ate real meat which gives you real protein and gives you real... I feel like everyone back then was in way better shape. And it wasn't just uh, this this weird thing, you know, where, every, where kind of processed food has taken over the world. Uh, so we'll stick with athletic. Um, now I'm going to go with my eye color. I have hazel eyes, but you can't actually see... Um, it's between these two. I'm going to go with this one. Eyebrows, we can go thick, thin, bushy, low, plucked, arched. Let's get a zoomed in. It's a little hard to see them right now because the eyebrows are like grayish because of the hair that he's got. Um, arched, neat. Let's go neat. Eyes and brows, we got furrowed, uh, carefree, neutral, narrow, broad, 
her ode kind of looks like a a man about town like he's he's on a mission Um, definitely don't want to go with neutral or broad. That's too much. I'm going to go furrowed feels like, okay, don't mess with this guy. All right. Nose. I suppose we're just going to go neutral for nose to mouth. I don't think this really matters too much. Our character doesn't talk. See, this is one of the things I don't like about this is the fact that our character really never says a word. Um, I'm going to go thin. Jaw and chin. Let's go... And remember, you can get better looks at this by uh, rotating your character. Got to hold it down in order to use it. This is such weird controls because I'm literally holding down W, I'm holding down zoom, and I cannot adjust anymore because my hands are completely full. You have to kind of take a look at uh, what that is. I don't know, maybe squared. I feel like squared might be... We're going to go wide. Okay, moving on. Ears, we got Goofy. I know, my ears, that's exactly what my ears are. My ears are so Goofy. And that's because I can actually, I can fold my ears inside my ears. Um, and I've been able to do that ever since I was a little kid. And it's made my ears very, very, uh, I don't have any cartilage. Well, obviously I have cartilage because everyone does. But I have very limited cartilage, meaning that I can literally do, I can make shapes into my ears. Um, I can fold them inside my ear, um, and there's many things that I can do with them. They're so flimsy and, like, very, very little cartilage. I'm just going to go with large. All right, cheeks. So far, gaunt. Gaunt seems to be the one that I like. All right, our chompers. You're really not going to see your teeth that much. Gosh, I'm so glad I didn't live back then when um, everyone probably had really bad teeth. Uh, I guess I'll just go with the chompers. All right, hair. Let's get into this one. This is going to be the biggest one. So we've got thinning, we've got thick, uh, sinel parted, uh, long, right parted, rough tad. How does it look when you? Actually, I have cauliflower ears. One of my ears. My left ear is cauliflower. Um. Long, slick, wow. Now, we're probably going to have a hat on most of the time anyways. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into this. What's the sides look like? I kind of like, I kind of like th that, but I'd want it to be a little bit longer. I'm, I don't know. Can you actually, um, do you have the same freedom that you have in the single player story where you can grow your hair length or no? That I'm not sure. Or is it just whatever hair you pick, that's the hair you have. That's making this a little tough. Oh, you don't? That sucks. So whatever you pick is going to be the, the length of your hair. Which makes me actually want to go for long because it'll look good with a hat on, I guess. I mean, I really change your hair, but not only. 
I guess since you can continuously change it in the game, it's not that big of a deal. So we'll... S kind of torn between that one and that one. Let's see what this one looks like with the non-silvery. I feel like if I was in a Western myself back in the day that I would have long hair because the only reason I have short hair now is because of the army. And the only reason I, I can't have a beard a, a lot of the times is because of the army. So I feel like if I was not in the military back then and I was just an outlaw or a sheriff or something like that, I would have long hair and I would have a beard. Oh, that's straight up black. That's too too dark for me. For my hair color, it's more like about right here. Kind of a mix of blonde and black. I've had moments in my life where I was completely blonde. And, and then it darkened up a little bit. I feel like this is a good representation of what my color should be. Alright, so you know we're going to have a beard. I just love these mustaches. They look so good. I don't think you can even do a mohawk. I didn't see a mohawk in there. The Arcadian. Wow, you don't really get a lot of choices, do you? I guess what you would do is you would go no beard. Or... And do the, the stubble, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, I want... I want a tiny beard. I don't want, like, the... That's not a tiny beard. That's a big beard. That's, like, the beard that I usually have when I let it grow. Um, I'd love to have a beard like that, but that is... I feel like that right there just... After getting so much food caught in your beard, I, I, I feel there's no way I would want uh, the Duck Dynasty beard. Um, that almost looks like a serial killer right there. I suppose maybe that one then. I mean, it's the shortest one I see. Um, I don't know, what was the number here? So that was number 14. We'll make sure you get a beard that actually matches. I guess we'll go with this. I mean, this... I feel like this is how I would look. Right here. Yeah, this feels like, this feels like me. All right, lifestyle. I don't know what this even does. So skin molting. What? Oh, so it changes changes our skin. All right. So I don't even know what what is skin mottling. Anyone know what skin mottling is? Because I have no clue. I mean, it doesn't really... We're just going to go minor. Can you just turn it off? Rugged, patchy, coarse, spread, motley, flecked, blotched, hardy, minor. It's going to go minor. All right, complexion. I feel like everyone's an alcoholic. Hardy glow. Alcoholic. Gosh, man. Uh, what's this here? Oh, okay. You can change. But I don't see anything as far as nothing. We're just going to keep it all the way down. I don't, I don't want him to look weathered or... That's fine. All right, freckles, none. Moles. Nah. I don't have any, so. Um, blemishes on your forehead, red faced. In rub, you can't wear that anyway. Bowling, bulging. Plagued? <laughs> uh, we'll just go with none. 
All right, Scar, we can go with Scar. You know I love a good Scar, right? Because Scar reminds me uh, uh, of, like, Big Boss. So you'd want a Scar, like, on your eye. But... See, that's the one I would want. But I would want it directly over my right eye because I'm blind in my right eye. So I would want it directly over my right eye. But I don't think... Do they have one? Doesn't look like they have one. Well, they have it over the left eye, but not the right. Well, yeah, there we go. Perfect. You can go for the severity of the claw. This is like minor, right? I don't want it to be too far out there. Cool. All right, tiredness. Um, see, my guy, he's, he's totally awake. He is ready for adventure. I do like how you can hide the facial hair at any time by uh, clicking that. So now you can kind of see what our what what are, what he looks like without a beard. He's been he sees he's seen some adventure. Although my my question is I mean I, he is 38 but I still even though I am 38 years old I still have very very soft smooth skin for a 38 year old like people has always have always told me that my skin is very soft and baby like so like i don't think it's my hands are still very young i mean i don't but i don't think you can really have that here so obviously we want to uh facial hair i think with the facial hair on it makes that look um a lot better otherwise he looks kind of weird all right so there's lifestyle I think that's it. So what do you think, guys? Does that look like a hardened outlaw or sheriff, whoever we're going to end up being in here? I think. Oh, we still have more. Okay, cool. Uh, whistles. I just wish that he could um, have just a tiny less of a beard. Just a tiny bit less would have been perfect. There we go. That's good. And attributes. All right. Oh, you can assign points. How many points do we have? Oh, okay, I got you. So you can either go health, stamina, or dead eye. Well, see, the dead eye doesn't do anything against actual players. Right? So, because you can't slow down time against real players, but you can slow... You don't. I guess you don't really slow down time in this. It's more of a just allowing you to kind of get a better shot at what you're shooting it. So dead eye doesn't work the same as it does in the single player. Uh, but the question is, what do I want? Go there, there, health and dead eye. Yeah, let's do that one. A mix of health and dead eye. I think that's going to be a good mix. All right, so there we go. We've got our character. I know that took a little long. I'll take a photograph. I think he's ready for the world, ladies and gents. And away we go. All right, welcome. Want to know the basics of Reddit Online? Play the intro to learn the controls and gameplay features that will help you survive uh, and begin your journey with a land of opportunities. Uh, if you choose to skip the intro, land of opportunities will still be available to play. However, you will skip the introduction to these story missions. So obviously, I want to play it. So. Some months later. You know what I'm waiting for? I am waiting for a game that allows me to take the script of a video game and 
has an editor and allows me to put my voice as the player character. Jackson, you know how Jackson cool that would be? Hopefully okay. someone comes up with that sometime soon. Kitchen's a staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on, get moving. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Valentine. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Tell you what, I'm sorry to hear that, Renee. Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You like to stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world neither do you buddy you got to remember though back in the day education really didn't mean a lot to the west Good day gentlemen it did oh. the east though but not to the west don't do anything stupid nobody gets shot act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute now what are your names jenkins and milliken well mr jenkins and mr milliken Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. Well, we're glad to have you here, Stephanie. Hopefully, uh, we can make it worth your while. Run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. All right, so again, I'm going to be using uh, to holster your weapon uh, double tap tab. Yeah, we ought to get out of here before the alarm is raised. Here we go. All right, follow the stranger. I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard controls. I'm, I've am i never played with mouse and keyboard controls. I usually only play this game with uh, controller. So uh, it'll be a learning process for me. Let me know that it's running smooth. That's not Scrawny nag. <laughs> haven't got far to ride. Must be odd being out of those leg irons. Get on the horse. Use E to Ready? mount your horse. All right. Ready? Wonderful. Hold on. Hold F1 to view the details. What is I Rockstar sending me? the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. See, the, the, gun, the game never pauses. Hold L to match. Six months at Sisica Penitentiary. Where is he going? What the hell? A hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. 
came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course, if you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum. It's a little hard to actually hear him speak. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. Then if you want to accept our offer, you can. That's more than reasonable. The freedom out on the range can wait a few moments longer, can it? Good. You guys having a hard time actually hearing what he was saying? As soon as we're done, you can find your old posse. Or try and start a new one. You'll have money in your pocket to go to the store with. And there'll be chances to make more, if that's what you're after. And chances to raise hell, too, if you feel you're in the need of them. Okay. We haven't got far to go now. So the camera is tied. You can't look around. It's the camera is tied. See, it moves your horse. The camera moves your horse. It doesn't move your horse in the game, in the single player game. The camp. It's your horse. I know this horse. It's wow. Hey. How does anyone even play this game with freaking mouse controls? It's so weird. There will be plenty of time for adventures now. If you follow me, please. <laughs> wow, that's like really weird. I'll wait. All right, hold E to hitch. Can you guys hear it? Uh, do you need me to turn up the game sound? This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. All right, I turned it up. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Did you see how he changed clothes? Like the frame before he left? What the heck was that? All right, whoa. Please don't tell me that's the... I'm so confused right now. Why am I wearing this? What the heck? Uh, you must be wearing a um, shirt collar. Yeah, but it didn't. This is the option that it gave me. I don't want to wear this. I can change hats. All right, let's let's pick a better hat. We got stalker, and we got let's go with stalker. That one looks there. Why is he wearing freaking overalls on his... That looks so weird. All right, but as you can see... Okay, there's there's more that we can look for. All right, let's go down. There we go. All right. So let's start out with shirts first, I guess. No shirt. You got an undershirt. 
wool. Um, vests, no vests. You must be wearing pants. Am I not wearing pants? Well, because I got these stupid overalls on, which I don't even know how to take off. All right, let's put. That's better. Go with depot. All right. Door vest. Give it a light color. The looks of it, that's all we got. Hold on. Yeah, you got to be using this here if you want to make that work. So let's take a look at boots. Um. Workman's boots. Alright, what else? Um, hats. He's starting to look like a cowboy now, I guess. Somewhat. I guess you don't really get a lot to start out with. Alright, so there we go. That looks more comfortable. How's Holly? it, How's it? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a... Thanks for the subscription, in uh, country, Ruby. In the West. Ruby, 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 Ruby! He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then, Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! <laughs> Hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. 
J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? All right, select the location for your camp. Crips will set this up for you. A fee can be paid to move your camp again when you enter free room. So L to open the player menu. That's a weird... Player menu is L. Remember this, people. L. That's so weird. Uh, camps and properties. Camp. That camp. All camp. Guess we have to go in the hard Oh, sir. While Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. All right. H can be used to whistle for your horse. So H for horse Get makes sense. I can I can remember that. Oh, that's not. Health bar gets too low. So as you can see, you don't have the whole like you just hold it down. You don't do like you don't gallop with it as opposed to on the controller where you tap A. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. I guess you could still tap it. What's I gotta figure out what button it is to um, to calm the horse. I'm sure it'll tell me at some point. Okay, the stamina is draining away. But th there's a button that you can press, at least on the controller. It's clicking in the left thumbstick, and that'll get you uh, get your horse all nice and happy. Beautiful game. So obviously, clearly, you can tell that the uh, the um, the graphics have been I would I don't want to say dumbed down, but they've been stripped of a lot of things. Unlike the single player, where you really get the the gist of it being an uh, I don't know. This has this definitely does have a different feeling to it. See, you see what I mean? Like I didn't do that. I didn't do a turnaround. I just went in the direction by using W A S and D, but. See, that just turns you around. So what is the button that stops you? I got to figure that out. Like, there, I, it's RB on the controller. But there is... There is a button that you can press that will slow you down. But I don't know what it is as of... Left control? Okay. We'll have to figure it all out, you know? Like, it's it's a learning process when you're playing a game that you're so familiar with on controller and then you switch to mouse and keyboard, so... The only biggest difference is, like, in, in, in my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, I love having random conversations with people, and unfortunately, it's not something that you can actually do in this game. You can't go up to these people and just have, like, a random conversation. You can do emotes, so you can do, like, a <laughs> awkward dance. OMG. Oh, God, my dude, the cap, my Joe. Diamond, man, some long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? God, man, Joe. I've been getting the cap, man, Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> Sorry. 
Well, I didn't want to check the key bindings because the game... It, it teaches you everything your first time that you're playing. So I like to learn on the fly. Which, it's pretty much going to be doing that, so... All right, let's see. Post clerk. Greet. Hello. You must, uh... You must be a Harley's friend. He's one of us. He said you also were a discouraged man. I'm very discouraged. Disappointed, Alden. That's me. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. By the way, I heard you might want to earn a little money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in Cumberland Forest. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way. A catalog. The latest issue. Just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if all works out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help a fellow sufferer with pertinent information. Good afternoon, sir. I want to know one of the weird things I always looked at in video games is that when you bring the resolution to a widescreen format for your cinemas and your cutscenes or so-called, why not move the subtitled text to the black portion on the bottom so that it doesn't cover up the gameplay or the actual image of what you're trying to see, right? Why do they do that? Why... Like Metal Gear, they did it right, you know? They had they had the gameplay in the screen, and then below that, in the black, they had the text, the subtitle. I don't understand why they don't do that, so... Again, there is that thick, heavy rain. Is that like a graphical glitch? It just doesn't look realistic at all. It's like, all of a sudden, the rain in this game just started looking silly. It used to look really good. But now, I don't know, I feel like... It's too thick. I'm sorry, but we don't get rain that thick in this world. I don't know, it just kind of takes me away a little bit. Now, space will jump over certain things, all right. See, that was so weird. So, I was moving this way. I gotta get used to these controls. I think if you just press it once, you do like a, like a gallop. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fast. Oh, something just happened. Oh my god, really? Okay, you guys don't see that probably. But I just, there we go. So, if I press shift too fast... Um... What happened was the sticky keys came up in my uh, windows. Yes, you're right, though. Left con left control slows me down. Thank you so much. You guys remember that um, on Windows PCs that if you press, I think, shift and something else, the sticky keys pops up. <laughs> oh. And see, this is the thing. So, yeah, you see I can move my, my uh, you know, the mouse around or whatever, but the only way you can do this is if you also change your um, WASD, right? So right now I'm pressing W. If I continue to press W, and then I move the camera around, it's gonna turn him around. The camera goes with wherever you're looking, right? So, in order to alleviate this, when you look right, I need to be now pressing down, corresponding to, so I'm constantly pressing a different direction so that I can actually because right now I'm pressing uh, D and it's moving forward because this is the way that my camera is. So in order for me to move forward, the camera is actually facing in the side direction, which means I need to press D to go forward. And if it's if I'm backwards, I need to press um, S to go forward. And the same thing for here, I need to press uh, A to go forward. I'm not a big fan of that. I want to be able to just press forward and then move my key around freely while not having to like do hockey 
with with my fingers, but I know a lot of games use this method. Um, I'm just not a big fan of it. It's just so much easier. Like I said, some games are just, in my opinion, better controlled with a uh, controller than mouse and keyboard. If it's a first person shooter, I completely understand mouse and keyboard, but when it comes to third person, it just feels, uh, I don't know, better to me. All right, so how do I bring up, what is it, tab? All right, so tab will bring that up, but here's the problem. I can't keep moving forward. And you gotta play freaking hockey with your fingers just to be able to keep that up. So if I wanna go, oh my God, that's some serious hockey right there, dude. Uh, I guess we can't brush our horse. Or can't we, actually, no, I, yeah, I can, I can feed the horse, but as of right now, we don't have any brush. All right, let's move on. I'm just trying to get familiarized with the mouse and keyboard here. Just, it's just a little weird. I know a lot of people get used to them after a while, and they swear by them. I know there's a lot of people out there that'll be like, man, I can't go back to a controller after having the freedom that you get with a mouse and a keyboard, you know? But it's not immersive freedom. It's, it's more of you've got so many options to choose from with a keyboard and mouse. Whereas you have very limited options with a controller, but immersion-wise, it's so much better, in my opinion, with um, a controller. All right, so here we are. Go to the Cumberland Forest, and that's is where we are right now. Search for the hideout. Uh, can you hit M for map? Yes, you can. All right, so we have a huge area. Remember, though, you don't actually pause the game because there is no pause in the online world. So you've got to be careful when you're going into the map and stuff. It really makes you think about what you're doing at any given time. And as of right now, we're just kind of searching for wherever this hideout is. I do see someone over there, so I'm going to assume that's where it is. Also, the shooting mechanics are so much better on controller because you get to utilize... Okay, there it is. I don't want to get shot. my crouch let's see if we can't do this a little stealthily hey okay, there's that all right I don't have any cover, though. Well, I guess we could just start this. Now, remember, I don't have that, uh... Oh, man, it's, it's a different beast when you're playing this game, trying to... All right, let's go ahead and switch to this one. All right, it's gonna take me a little time to get used to the controls, man. I'm so used to the whole lock on, aim up, get a headshot every single time, man. 
And what did it say? Double tap? Alright, so if I want to loot E. Always loot enemies so you don't have that animation okay. anymore. Okay. You're good. You're real good, friend. So here. Take this. It's a map. Just be kind. Don't kill me. We did a good thing, right? That's the whole point. Hold B. Man, these weird th controls. Hold B? How can you remember all this sh- Yeah. Open the treasury map. Alright, so we're going to Citadel Rock. Let's set a wave point, I guess, with that. Alright. Treasure map is what you are. Maybe you're my golden star. Maybe you make your wish come true. Just let me treasure you. All right, let's go ahead and go now. I don't. What well, is there another? No. I'm pretty sure we looted everyone we could. All right. Oh, we could whistle, right? Whistle with H. Come on, girl. All right, well, why do we even need to follow this road? I mean, come on. I love how this game makes you feel like you're in a western. And that's probably why I don't die. <laughs> Make sure we don't... When you make your own path, that's when it can get a little scary. The game is so beautiful, though, man. Especially when you've got, like, the hardware to run it. Gosh, does this game look just so good. I know YouTube is probably dumbing down some of it, to, you know? I'm only uploading this stream in 20 megabytes a second, which just isn't enough to truly show how awesome this truly is. close, clearly. You settle down one of these days there, yonder. You just go ahead and settle down. Find yourself a pretty wife. Settle down. Let the real man take care of everything else. Uh, I think it's the middle click. I do like how you hit your horse when you get off of it if you hold E. 
hits it to the ground, somehow that's that's a thing. Makes no sense. All right, we got our treasure. Open with R. Why don't you just open with E? Why make it so complicated? All right, we got our first, what? Uh, gold, whatever, although it looks silver. But look at how much gold bars we actually have. That's all we have. It costs like, what is it, 24 gold bars in order to be able to do a roll? So, I have a roll unlocked on my PS4, a bounty hunting roll, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you that today. Fortunately. Because I'm not on my PS4. I'm on the PC version, which you don't get anything. Your first ability card, alright? Let me guess. Am I pressing L to do it? Tab, open the weapon wheel. Uh, here we go. View the ability loadout. So, first one is a dead eye card. Um, ability card free with reward. Original price is $50. Okay, so we've got different ones that you can use. Let's see here. We've got a moment to recuperate. While Deadeye is active, you slowly regenerate health. Taking any damage will cancel Deadeye. All right. While Deadeye is active, you and your team members deal a little more damage if more than one member of your team has this active ability. In the back. While in Deadeye is active, paints, paint targets on enemies, fire weapons to shoot all marked targets. Of course, that's the one I want to go for. Claim with reward. Okay. What button was it again to go into the freaking Deadeye? It's the middle button. You now have the Deadeye card. When aiming, press that button. Enter Deadeye and use the card's effect. Deadeye bar will refill with each enemy you kill. Alright. Mission, ladies and gentlemen, accomplished. Let's go meet Clay, although we are pretty high up right now, so we're probably gonna... Well, you're telling me that I need to go off right here, but that doesn't seem like a very, very good option. Say no. See, even the horse is like, no, sir! You will not. I said, man, these controls, they just don't feel as smooth with the mouse and keyboard. Maybe just take a little time for me to get used to. Does anyone know what button calms your horse, or can you even do that in online? Because you could easily refill your stamina if you're calming your horse, but I don't know if you can do that online or not. What's up, Lamar? How you doing, bud? We're gonna get into some of the mini games. I'm also gonna sh we're gonna go to uh, once we're gonna focus mainly on story here, because um, that's just the beginning. The story is just the beginning of Red Dead Online. Most of everyone doesn't even do the story anymore. Most people just get caught up in the different roles. But in order to gain enough money, you're gonna want to do story and stuff. All right, hold L to start matchmaking for other players. Press F to view the mission details. So let's view the mission details. Hardly suggest you go see Clay Davies, horse thief. Learn the ins and outs of a horse rustling trade. All right, so obviously all missions are done with other players. I think what happens if you don't find another player, you just end up doing it yourself. But uh, we'll see if anyone is playing. I don't know.
Well, what's the calm the horse button then, Lucas? Like I said, I, 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 um, if it doesn't find anyone, I'm pretty sure you can still do it. Because that would be a horrible game if the only way to do a mission is to have other people with you. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> When you're playing online, the story is the same, but when you're in the single player, obviously that story is different than the online story mode. Does that make sense? Well, see, I don't know what the PC versions of the, the, um, the Calm Your Horse is. I only know what the uh, the controller PC version is. Not I've never used uh, mouse and keyboard. So, all right, honor among thieves. As you can see, there's only one player, and that's me. Um, got Dame weapon loadout. We don't need to worry about any of that stuff. We're just gonna go ahead and ready up. It's probably just gonna be me. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out near Cumberland Falls with a bunch of horses they stole off of me. Well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Looks like you're doing this on your own. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at Valentine once you have the horse flesh. Again, so confused why I don't good. talk. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses... Well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I love I'm the way Saints Row did it. My You'd have like four different Let's voices go, to Clive. choose from, you know? Here, you just, you don't say a single word. You whistle. That's the only thing you do. I don't know. I just, I always, I just find that weird. <laughs> go to the ranch, all right? Now we can go ahead and use our cinematic view. But that's not it. I think it's V. There it is. I hit C. All right, so now I'm in cinematic. It'll just go. And then I think you hit C to change. Gotcha. This is always, in my opinion, the best way to travel because it just allows you to like really take it all in, be, be immersed. I guess I passed it. All right. Okay, so this is what we're doing. So they're not, they're not, they're not on to me yet. So, at, at this case, I might be able to like sneak in from the back. He's a very shy dude, you know. I understand why they do it. For one, it saves resources. They don't have to find another voice artist and pay. But I think that's probably the main reason. And secondly, it, it's it's letting the player be the voice. Oh shit. Where are you going? What the hell? I literally put you right here and then you just run away like 
you're afraid of the entire world. Alright, so I probably can sneak in. See, what I would do in a single player is I would take him out silently. Get the horse. I don't even know if you can stealth in online or not. We's gonna find out, y'all. Oh, damn. Oh my god, what? Well, so much for that. I can't even get my weapon out. Okay, that did not go according to plan. I feel like I'm such a bad show. I cannot hit it. I can't hit the raw side of a freaking barn. Oh my god, it is it is it is so not as fun to play with mouse and keyboard. I am telling you. I might just switch back to controller because this is not fun for me at all. This does not feel good. It feels so clunky. Like like keyboard and mouse was just a secondary thought. Game to them making this game. Tell where this comes from. I'm gonna get in there and get this horse. This guy above me or something? So the good news is, I think there's no more enemies left. Maybe not as smooth as I would have done it. Now, can't you take a look at the horses and see how they are? Show info. We've got a Kentucky Saddler. So they're three speed, two acceleration, handling is standard. They got some decent stamina. Got the Morgan, which is probably your most basic. They're probably all three two. Tennessee, no, there's a two two, but look at its stamina. Stamina is way better, although the speed isn't as good. But the stamina, or excuse me, yeah, stamina is really good, and that's what I think what matters the most. Yeah, Kentucky Saddler Black. almost want this this guy because yeah but look he's got like the smallest of all of the stamina I mean pick up that brush too dude I guess he won't though um I guess I'll just go with uh, the one with the most stamina I think that's gonna be I mean, look at how much stamina the horse has. Even though it doesn't have as much speed or acceleration. We're gonna go ahead and pat the horse to get it all nice and calm. All 
right. Oh my god, I can't even go through this little tiny hole. Well, the good thing is, uh, we made it. So it looks like we're going to have to eat. Oh, it's so much easier. Man, it's so much better when you're shooting with a, with a controller than it is. Especially when you're trying to move. You just got to play, like I said, you got to play hockey with your fingers while you're doing this. Metal Gear? You know what? It's, it's been a while since we've played some Metal Gear stuff, so I do plan on, on putting it back into the list. It's just I want to make sure that we finish up some things. Uh, we want to finish up Mass Effect. We want to finish... Um, continue, you know... Um, hold on, let's... There we go. We want to finish Mass Effect. Uh, once when Mass Effect is done, then we can bring back Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood, because we started a playthrough of that. Um... So we're going to get back into the nitty gritty of things here, guys, uh, as far as streaming. Um, I'm not going to be streaming every single day because I feel like that will really, really just kind of wore me out. Uh, remember, I streamed for, I want to say, 43 days in a row. And that was not a good idea because it just really made me not want to stream anymore. Well, 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 Horley was right about you. Dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earned. Yeah, I got a Hitman Listen, 3 walkthrough on the channel. And gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Crips up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. I don't See usually like to do face cam. Come on. Because my camera, it just keeps freezing or whatever. So face cam has never been something that I like to put on there. But uh, hopefully everyone is having a good day. I will start to use face cam a lot more in these live streams. Uh, once I fix... The camera issue. Yes, I had to shave. I had to work for the military. So when I went into my uh, appointment, you know, I had to completely... Uh, I had to completely shave, man. And, and it was like the worst... Ugh, I felt so bad because I miss... I, although it's starting to grow back, uh, I miss my beard so much. The, the problem is that my camera freezes and it creates a, a, a weirdness that I have to go back to it constantly uh, to fix. Um, all right, so what do we want to do? Rename your horse. Okay, so horse insurance. Where do I rename it at? Let's see, Walker. What are we going to call our horse? Uh, how about... Um, um, okay, so My Little Pony. Isn't there... What, what, what are those weirdos called that like are so obsessed with My Little Pony? What are they called? Yeah, I had to report in uniform, yeah. 
Um, well, uh, aren't they called bronies? Right? They're called bronies, right? Am, or am I wrong? I'm pretty sure they're called bronies. So I'll call her brony. Or should it be with a Y or should it be with an IE? It's a monster! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go brony with a Y. My little brony. Uh, select horse insurance. Jabroni. Bye. Oh, I guess you gotta hold it down. Uh, return to the previous page. Select saddles. Back in the saddle again. All right, so we can choose box. No, we we can't really unavailable at this time. We only got certain ones. Let me see what. All right, looks like we just have one to choose from. And that is the Lumi Ranch saddle. Oh man, there are some I'm I'm listen, if you're a brony, you know what? That's awesome. Be you. But there are some people that take it too seriously. And when I was at a convention, like a, a comic con convention, I mean years ago, this is like seven years ago. Uh, Jennifer and I went to a Comic Con convention convention and um they had a I don't know, they were doing some type of costume, you know, award thing where the best dressed in whatever genre or something like that. Um, we sat next to this guy that uh, was a brony. I mean, he had, I mean, this guy was obsessed with My Little Pony. This dude who's like 45 years old walking around who was very weird obsessed with my little pony and it just was the weirdest thing man and i mean oh my it was just so weird jennifer and i we couldn't stop laughing and like because this guy was obsessed with my little oh my god it was just it was just so weird um well, we can't do that all right so stock let's see we can do natural ash Let's do that one. What's up, Veer? How you doing, bud? Exit the stables. All right, I'm going to turn my uh, camera back off. You don't need to see my mug. Not until I get the camera fixed. Not until I get the thing to where it doesn't just uh, freeze on me. All right, so I bonded with my horse after purchasing a saddle. Your horse is indicated by blah, blah, blah. Grooming and caring for your horse increases your bonding level. Continue to bond with your horse improves its attributes. All right, so I know where we're going is over there, but why don't we do a little bit of poker? What resolution? You may certainly ask what resolution I'm playing on because I will certainly show you. We are in 4K. Um, with almost everything set up to complete max, running on a RTX 3090. And I was able to get this 3090 because of, one, the um, stimulus package uh, that we were able to get. And, of course, from uh, donations that have, people have made uh, throughout the past few months, um, Super Chats and... Um, uh, the steam elements in the chat, the donation and stuff, because anything that anybody donates goes directly into making sure that I have the best PC to play these types of games and stream for you guys. It either goes to that or it goes to actually just paying the bills and surviving, which it's been a little tough. See, I, look how thick that rain is, man. It just looks so unrealistic, dude. It, 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 it this, this rain has looked this way only for the past like month. Before then, the rain never looked this fat. And I don't mean P-H-A-T, brother. Well, thank you so much, Alien Pancake, for the $5 super chat. Alright, where is the... There's the saloon. Get in here. 
I feel like uh, I feel like he's had a hard day of uh, killing criminals, stealing horses, and just killing innocent people that had those horses. But technically, I guess they weren't innocent, right? Oh, don't tell me we can't play yet. Oh, because we're still in the beginning. Oh, okay, makes sense. All right, so this is the intro. So all of the things... Think of it this way. In this intro, nothing is available. That's why there's no bartender. I guess you can't even really eat or drink anything yet either. Um, because it's the intro. So once you're done, you're not in, you're technically not in free form yet. Or free roam yet. You know, it has it was really hot the other day. The hell is your problem? Back away, sir. You want me to shoot you with my six piece? You better back away. I'm trying to I'm trying to find the voice for uh for my character. What's what's his voice gonna be? Is he a He's a rough rider. I'm like a Clint Eastwood. You got a problem, punk? Yeah, yo, know, I'll solve it. Check out my piece, my six piece revolver. Or uh, is he more of a... You got a problem, sir? I'm going to show you how I can fix it for you. You don't want to mess with me. I'm wanted in five systems. A little mixture of Star Wars there for you. Just trying to find the voice for this character. We got we to gotta figure it out. Maybe his voice is... Hey. Good morning, mister. What the hell you think you're doing? What the hell you think you're doing, partner? What the hell you think you're doing, partner? You want a piece of me, huh? Huh? You, you, you talking to me? You talking to me? I kind of, I kind of like the. Or are you talking to me, partner? You don't want a piece of me. Like he's, he's got a, he's got a nasty habit of, of, uh, I don't know, like, um, uh, puberty didn't set well with him or something. Shaggy? <laughs> well, I don't know, Scoob. Hey, we don't want to get captured here, Scoob. Let's get out of here. Oh, I should have named him Scoob. I should have named my horse Scoob. And I could have been Shaggy. Wouldn't that have been fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, enjoy the game, Elliot. Have some fun with it. Uh, you're really going to enjoy it. I mean, you guys, you got to remember right now, a huge sales are going on on Steam. So if you, I mean, right now is the time that you want to get this game. I mean, it's being, it's being sold for pretty cheap right now, Red Dead Redemption 2. So I highly recommend it, especially if uh, you just love Westerns and whatnot. I mean, also, if you do end up getting any games for Epic Game Store, remember guys, I'm a partner with Epic Games and you can use my code, my creator code, CinderStrain01. It helps the channel out so that I can keep continuing to get um uh, epic is uh, gracious enough to add me as one of their partners and i'm actually able to get a lot of games early from epic game store like a lot of games that uh, we've been able to show off and play um that i've done you know some of my walkthroughs for the epic game store so make sure you ch like hitman 3 you know epic game store actually uh sent me that game because i'm a part of their program their partner program um, all because of you guys. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos that we do here and supporting the channel, uh, we wouldn't have had those types of opportunities. So if you do end up getting any games from Epic Game Store for one reason or another, use my uh, creator code, CinderStrain01, uh, when getting those games. It really, really helps. All right, I'm guessing this is it. Well, no. What is going on here, actually? This is something. Meet Crips at your camp. Oh, that is Crips right there, so this has got to be it. Activity at the camp. Oh, there you are, partner. <laughs> How do you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like Later, to Green. Pop Have a good one, buddy. Him, a slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. 
When you get too old to fight, what mm -hmm. choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. I just wish my character talked, man. It just takes me out of the game so much when he doesn't. But that's technically the intro is over with, and now the free roam starts. So now the whole... Now we get put into a situation where we're going to be with other players. Yeah, I know they haven't finished the single story, right? If I'm not mistaken. So now, as you can see, we are actually in the open world. So uh, you're free to explore, move your camp, create a posse, or switch to a defensive playing style. Press L. Open the player menu. We got daily challenges. Uh, challenge. Let's see what the daily challenges are. So, general... Animals killed with a knife. Items sold to a fence. Players killed from the hip and free roam events. Story mission. Violets. Snowdrop picked. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if you do one of these every single day, I think they stack up. And they allow you to get more gold. I think this is one of the best ways to earn gold, if I'm not mistaken. Whereas, if you've done this for like two weeks in a row and you've done a daily challenge every single day, then your multiplier of gold ranks up and you can easily get more and more and more gold. So, I think we'll just do one of the story missions and that should give us uh, one of the daily challenges. And there's also... Yeah, this is how you do it, see? You get, right now the golds is, is point thirty of gold bars, but that'll go up once you've completed the, um, that thing. I haven't, someone just invited me to horseback hills challenge? No idea what that is. Right now I'm just kind of messing around here first. Uh, oh yeah, the streak thing, that's what it, there it is. It goes all the way up to 28 days. Once you get 28 days, then you get a multiplier of 2.5. So, it's it's all about the game kind of, I wouldn't say forcing you, but wanting you to, uh, wanting you to play more, right? Play every single day. Story mode, ready to play. F1 to view. Hold F1. Oh, that's just the resume story. 
That's that's the single player story. All right, so now that we actually have the game unlocked, I like this little location here that it set us up for. To be honest, right by the uh, right by the river, it's a nice location. Hold on, what's the white flag mean? I'm a little confused. Oh, yeah. I think you have to... Wait, can't you go into... Uh, let's see here. Online options. Playing style. Defensive. There we go. This is better uh, if we want to try to enjoy as much of the game as possible. Because as of right now, I want to kind of look around and have some fun. As opposed to just getting killed immediately. Because people will just go around and grief you in this game. Um, Alright, so what do I call my horse? No. Horse is H. Come on, horsey. Really? I made a lot of people quit? I mean, I guess I can understand that, because that was the best way to get gold, right? Alright, let me take a look at the map and see what missions that we have available to us. There's a lockbox. I don't know what's inside this lockbox. We zoom out. What frames am I getting? Why does that look really weird? Okay. Uh, let's see here. We've got something over here. I'm guessing these things are what the missions are. Index. There we go. That'll tell us. Lock boxes. But what? What do lock boxes do? Post office. A license for bounty. We don't have. We can't even get the bounty hunting. So. Harley is in Blackwater. So that's where our next mission is. The collector missions is over there. Okay, I see now. Um, let's just go move on with the next mission. So we're headed to Blackwater. Waypoint. There we go. You can see it's a, it's, well, it's not a long trek. This is going to be funny. I've never been to Blackwater in this game. I don't believe I have. I think there's also a fast travel system as well. There's like posts around here or something that allow you to fast travel. Because in the story, I'm only in Chapter 3 right now, but in my PS4 version, I only made it to Chapter 4. So there's still a lot of places that I haven't seen as well. Yeah, you can order stuff in the catalog. Hey, what the hell? Get your mouth. Does anybody know the button on PC for calming your horse? Ha! What's my system specs? All right. I've said this many, many times, but I know some people come in a little later. So RTX 3090, um, i9, 1100, 11900K processor 64 gigabytes of ram running on a uh pci4 nvme uh ssd um windows 10 regular uh motherboard is the um maxim maxim hero 7 or whatever it is uh really great really good motherboard um Playing on a uh, LG 4K TV, um, it's the C1, it's the uh, 120 hertz uh, HDMI 2.0, which is only available on the RTX series of graphics cards. So instead of using a display port, I use an HDMI, and it um, allows me to be able to play in 4K 
120. Yeah, I do need to set up commands like that when people ask or make it more readily available. Remember, the daily challenge is to do a story mission. What's that? You have just paid your daily stables upkeep. Okay. So I guess when you have horses, you have to pay an upkeep. Yeah, I could put my specs in the de in the description of all my videos or live streams. That's that's definitely something I could do. I think wasn't this where we did that specific mission uh, in Blackwater in the main story, the first uh, or second chapter? I think it was. I do remember this area right here. But see, we've never been able to go over to Blackwater because it's always been shut off to us. I guess until you reach Endgame, which I don't want to put any spoilers for the Endgame or Red Dead Redemption, because I myself haven't completed it. But of course I know the spoilers because everyone talks about it. Well, yeah, I think Rockstar just really puts more of their emphasis on GTA because more people play GTA than they play Red Dead. Uh, so they've really, really put all of their focus into uh, GTA Online as opposed to uh, uh, Red Dead Online. I think, um, I think that's their baby. All right, so here's Blackwater. Now, when does this take place? This, this still takes place before Red Dead Redemption 1, I think. But it's after Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know exactly the year I think it takes place in, but... Hello. Well, well, well. Who's that, Harley? Who's that Batman? Hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, I said, who is that? Is that a kind man? Is that a good man? Is that a bad man? Is it the devil? Maybe it's all of them at once. Maybe there ain't no devil. There's no kindness oh, oh, You is always a strange one, Horley. Oh, it's How a year before? Mrs. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. As you'd expect. I expect a lot. It's mighty bad business. Leclerc was a good man. A, a fine man. That he was. And, and this fella? Well, that's their business. Oh, that's the world's business. The world's business is kindness and gentleness and, and evil and, and brutality. What else is there, mister? Well, there's a whole lot else besides, like lust and greed and stupidity. Oh, Mr. Jones is stupid. Oh, Jones is old. Oh, Jones has cooked himself in the sun. Oh, I know, I know. Get yourself something to eat. There's My back sucks. Help. Maybe can this can never get comfortable or stay Maybe. in the same position, man. They're, uh, they're on the run. Yeah, that ain't my business. My business is what they do hereafter. That's my business. Well, they certainly need money. Yeah, there's always money. Money for them is as good, and money for them is, is not so good. But maybe they could first go see the sheriffs and see what work is afoot. I reckon, it, for now at least. Yeah, I'm going to look into that, well Renee. Try. I think I'm going to create some commands tonight Blackwater. for the he next stream help. that we do. No, not the fellow you guys want to give me some ideas on Discord? That was the marshal. Let the me know some good chief, commands to put in there on Discord, and then I'll add them. All we know, poor bastard is overrun, and, and he don't want old Jones. There's a couple other sheriffs that need help. A fella from Valentine, he's at uh, the Painted Sky Ranch. The Tumbleweed Sheriff's at the Tumbleweed Jail, and the Blackwater Sheriff, he's at Pike's Basin. Maybe that'll show us what kind of fella this is. Hmm. Go and pay him all a call. That's what I reckon. Maybe. I guess we will see. Meet me back here after you've seen them. Yeah, I do want to play with people online. Uh, I would love to actually play with uh, people online in Red Dead. 
Um, but I will say I only want to play with people that are actually uh, subscribed to the channel. I don't want to play with just random people that maybe come here because they see me streaming Red Dead and they want to get on the streamer's game. I want people that are actually subscribed to the channel to play with people that have supported and, and things like that. I like to play with people that have given to the channel or have been a part of the channel, you know. Alright, so I think we just opened up a few missions, right? Or... I think. Let me look at the map again. Yeah, there's a lot of modders, I'm sure. Uh, so... Yeah, because there's a... Looks like there is a player nearby. He's coming right up next to me. Shit. Yeah, but I'm in defensive mode, so I should be okay. Of course he stops by me. I don't know who this is. I don't even know how to wave, bro. <laughs> oh god, that's a highlight right there. <laughs> I don't even... What the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna call because I got... Oh my god, dude, that was like perfect. Dude, that is that has got to be Oh my god, that was <laughs> timing for two players online to run into each other <laughs> right after he's waving at me and then he just <laughs> I gotta clip that. I gotta clip that. Yes, I'm going to clip that for sure. Um, just remind me before the end of the stream, all right? Because I usually like to wait before I clip it until uh, um, a little bit further has gone on so I can easily control over the navigation on it. But man, that was crazy. It definitely have some funny moments, man. I, I guess you could totally make a career off of, like, uh, Red Dead Redemption online funny moments and stuff like that. Why don't we just take a look at uh, Blackwater? Because I've never really taken a look at Blackwater, so... I'm gonna kind of float ourselves around. And yeah, I do plan on doing some of the... Uh, to answer someone's question earlier. Stranger Missions. You can meet up with some fellow... Fellow people that you may have experienced with in Red Dead Redemption, like Bonnie. There's some stables over there. Get a haircut. Why is everybody running? Probably because whoever's making a fool of themselves. This is Saloon here. I mean, that was perfect timing that he left the moment. And, and it's so funny because he's sitting there waving at me as he moves on. And then, boom, lands right into the other guy. No, no, it's all right. It's really hard. I mean, I've been spoiled with everything with this game, dude. You're not going to spoil me on anything. There's nothing you're going to spoil with me. It's just other people I don't like that may have not finished that main game. But, yeah, I mean, I, I already know about the people you can meet up with as far as online stuff, yeah. The only thing I don't like about this online is that in order to play poker and all that, you have to play with online people. You can't play with just AI. Storms are coming. I best be getting sad. Drink me some alcohol. Buy me... A little bit of poker. Stay out of the rain. Hello there, sir. Is this your first time in my saloon? Where's the ladies? What happened to this guy here? Did he bark off more than he can chew? So, uh, what's it be? All right, let's get in some poker. So, again, in order to play poker, you have to play with people online. And if no one is playing, well, then you can't play poker. 
Uh, it's $25 public buy-in, so... So it'll search for matchmaking. Let's see if it finds anyone. It almost makes it look like you, your character just died to play poker. It looks like there are people playing, though, so that's good. We have joined a game in progress, okay? So left alt is camera. What does it do? Oh, in order to move the camera around, you got to hold left alt. Now, can you still play in first, I think? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Why don't they just let you move the camera around without holding it in? Now, these are all actual players, like real people, so. Look at the details in the chips. All right, here we go. Looks like we're going to be joining in now. 60 cents! Woohoo! say that that's really the best so we're just gonna go ahead and check well, then. Waiting on the well, can you do? give me a nine baby give me something give me something give me something Well, we do have two twos, but a pair of twos isn't gonna get me. Isn't gonna get me anything. That's for sure. It's at one thirty right now. Uh, you know, sometimes you gotta learn. Sometimes you gotta learn when to fold. What in the world is this place coming to? Can't stay, I'm afraid. You take care. We're just going to do like a few hands, not too much. This is what I love to do with you guys. I love to get like a bunch of people from the community, get together in this game and, and just play some poker all night. I think that'd be real fun. It's not the most funnest thing to watch. And I understand that, which is why we're not going to be doing too much. We got nine and a seven. What do we got? All right, two sevens. That's better than a pair of twos, so he's already folded. He's folded. Wow. Everyone wants to fold. Check. In. 
Man, so we got six. Well, holy, oh, hold on. There is much. And so then. So six, seven, nine, ten. If only we could get an eight. If we could, if if the next one is an eight, then we'd have a really good hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you can only bet so much. Ah, oh, didn't get it, but still, we'll take two two pair of aces and sevens. That's not too bad. Uh, go a dollar, baby. Two pairs of aces and tens. Well, I had two pairs of aces and sevens, man. I was close. It was close. King and an eight. No, I think what would be horrible is if they ever allowed real money to be gambled in these games. Then it would be horrible. This place just gets worse and worse. So we've got a king and an eight. So that to me is um, something to play with. Give me something, baby. Give me something. Ooh, baby. Yeah, two. All right. We're starting off really good so far. That's something I definitely want to get involved with. But you don't want to make them think you have a good thing yet. You know, you want to keep it nice and cool for now. She is loving to to put more money in the pot, though. So I'm going to have to call. Well, good grief. How are things? Yes, Jack. So we got a king, oh, jack, good. ace. Really just nothing too much so far, but a pair of kings really does... Oh man, he put all in, baby. They can't see my hand, just so you know. Like, if you look over when I'm looking at his hand, look. Only when they do that. I think I. Did I win? I think I won. Yeah, baby. Pair of kings. Fourteen dollars and eighty cents. Yeah. Here they're trying to reform the sandwiches, make them pretty and shiny. Huh. Somebody get the pin yeah. stop moving. We'll do one more game here, and then that's it. Queen and the two, all right. Queen's good to start with. We're going to go. The two, I'm not very uh, happy with, but... Yeah, of course, there's probably a lot of people that do snipe, that stream snipe or whatever when you're playing these things. But I, I, I bet you it's harder to stream snipe in uh, in this. Seven. Well, that's not good. It doesn't really give us anything. We just have queen high. So. Nah, it's not worth it. That's good enough for me. We're going to go ahead and get out.
I came, I'm, I'm leaving with more money than I came in with. So that's a win. No, no, I don't know any of those people. But there you go. So that was just a simple. Um, I mean, look at this, man. Wow, this game is so beautiful. Look at that night sky and the way it's illuminated. The only problem is the movement isn't as smooth as it is in the single player game where the, the nuance of your control and the animations. It's a lot more forced here, but man, does that look good. Looking up at the moon. I'm loving it so far, Shannon. I mean, it's uh, pretty cool. My first time really getting a, a chance to check out uh, Blackwater. What do we got going on here? Now the Stranger Missions, what color are they? There. Can you not just sit down, I guess? Howdy. Let me show him my dance moves. Yeah, but you got me, I've been married some long time ago. Where did you come from? <laughs> I don't think they like my dance moves. They seem kind of mean. And why did my horse spawn all the way over here? Sheesh. All right, so what do we have available to us here? Let's do something. I think this is the stranger with candy mission right here. So let's uh, select this and do a waypoint. And we'll do this mission here. Now, can't you do these missions, like, multiple times, if I'm not mistaken? Like, you can... You do the mission, it goes away for a little while after you've done it, then you can come back and do it again. They allow you to do these missions, I think, over and over. That's awesome, Duel. I'm glad you're still playing since beta and you're still not tired of it. That's great. All right, so last night was swearing straight. The donkeys ain't small horses. They're just big old dogs. For letters and bounties, you'll want the other clerk. I want to talk to you, my friend. What's it to be? Ah, Alden told me all about you. A fellow man in need of encouragement. Hector Barlow, you'll find me between here and a few other spots on the line. Rest assured, I will give help to any brother of mine in need of it. Now let's see what work I got. Hmm. Small honor increase, all right. You're gonna need to harness all your discouragement for this one. It could get a little heated. We gotta get this wagon up to Tanner's Reach, and I know there are bandits on that road. If you can drive it there, there's good money in it. Okay, I'll show you. All right. I don't know if this con is considered a story mission. Deliver the supplies. See, this one's a little weirder. You can't... This one, you see how it's not changing? Like, I can look wherever I want and continue to press forward. This is how I wish it was with your horse, but this is not how it is. I can freely move my camera around. All movement is tied to your WASD. It's not tied to your camera. Whereas on your horse, it's tied to your camera. So it's really confusing when you're playing with control, uh, when you're playing with keyboard and mouse. All right, so we're probably going to get into a fight. 
Now, also, if I'm not mistaken, guys, and, and for those of you out there that have been playing this for a long time, you can tell me. It's actually, you get more money if you just wait to the end before you complete a mission, right? Like, if you complete this mission too early, you get less money. But if you complete it within, like, three minutes or something like that, you get more. I don't know exactly how that works out, but I, I found that very weird. Why did they do that? I think maybe they did that because they they want you to play longer, and if you complete missions quicker, then you're not playing Red Dead Online as long as you would be if you complete them longer. So my guess is the only reason that they did that is for you to just literally be playing the game longer. Everything is tied around to how long you play the game. It's like that's what that's what they want. Sucks to be you. And he got run over too. Why does that say don't shoot? Oh, he must be on my side. Oh, I just noticed that it's actually following. Who is this guy? Oh, let me guess. He's going to try to take it over, isn't he? They're going to kill me quickly. They got better weapons watch and better items. Just watch where you're going. I got you covered. I don't know if I trust this guy. Because if I'm not mistaken, he can just easily rival players. He can just easily take what I'm supposed to have here. Now, what does that mean he's in defense mode? Meaning that he's not going to attack me or that he can't or... that I want. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Did the thing again. <laughs> Where it goes into the... Where it goes into, uh, what do you call that mode? Uh, sticky? My sticky thing came up. Remember, this is a new Windows 10 because I just got this uh, PC, so... So what does he get for helping me out there? Does he actually get paid too? I'm kind of wondering that myself. What does he get for helping me? Does he get money? Nah, some people are just nice. Wow. That is awesome, man. It's players like that that make you love this type of game. But it's players like that just want to mess with you. I, I understand they have to be in the game as well. It's totally understandable that they are. But it just makes everything so much better.
I'm guessing this is uh, probably another one of the same type of mission. Let me see. Uh, did that count as uh, a daily challenge? No, it didn't. It doesn't consider what I just did an actual mission. Oh, it's Sean! Blimey! What the fuck, buddy? What the fuck do you want, huh? What is it? You want to get yourself killed yeah, or something? Yeah, and he doesn't huh? say a dang thing. I don't like getting surprised. Shit. You looking for... Uh, you looking for work? Daddy? <laughs> I know the type, eh? Strong. Silent. Real frightening. Still waters run deep. That type of shit, is it? <clears throat> I've temporarily lost me friends. It's a fucking disaster. I had them. I went away for a couple of days on a, a killing of a of a bastard I owed a killing to. Ah, good man. <laughs> yeah, and I lost the folk I ride with. Big bunch. Not like you, la. No, we lived like sultans in our fucking tents. I'll find them again. I've lost them before, you know. Once was for... Three months it was. That's how it goes, I guess. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Murder and mayhem. <laughs> now, I don't like to kill innocent folk myself. It gives me a real nasty feeling inside. But these bastards, well, I don't know how innocent these bastards are. There's a stage, runs out of Aurora Basin. Now, I heard a fella say it's laden with silver. I can't rob it. I can't guarantee someone else isn't going to try. It'd be a rotten shame to let it pass by. Anyways, on with yous. Just wish he talked. Just make it so much better. Is it the same way in GTA Online? We gotta play GTA Online sometimes. Ambush and rob the state. Oh, so we're doing a negative thing. Do we want to do this then? I mean... So I guess some stranger missions give you negative honor. Now hold on now. If I'm not mistaken, can't I... That's so weird to hold that and do that. Can't you... I guess you can't, okay? You can't put on a... Um... Hold on, E. No? I guess you can't. From the looks of it, you can't put on a mask to hide yourself. Well, let's just go ahead and do it just because, well, you know, we've already got this match accepted. But it looks like we do not have uh, the ability to hide our face. So I don't know if the wanted system is the same way in Red Dead Online or not. Unfortunately, we don't have a mask to cover our face up, so... Yeah, cause see, I'm a good guy. I don't want negative honor, but I do want to show off what you, what are the different things you can do. So I do want to show at least one of these off. But it's not like I'm going to stick to doing this all the time, just so you know. Man, this game is so beautiful. Even the online mode is this beautiful. I love how I got bonding, but I didn't even do anything. I wasn't, uh, 
You've unlocked free ring, okay. this loot bag. Cartridges. Hey, where's this loot bag? I'm so confused right now. Where's this loot bag? Oh, it's on the dude still alive? I'm getting the hang of it here. I don't like to do uh, crimes. Why are you putting R? That's the worst thing to do, to put R there. Let me explain. R is your reload. So if I wanted to, I cannot physically reload my weapon right now because R is the same button. They should have made, they should have made it a different button. My settings, I've said this many times, everything's set up pretty much to max uh, RTX 3090. Um, yeah. Your next fast travel trip will have a 100% discount. Okay. So, uh, what button do you press to take a look at your... Um, there it is. We want to make sure that our honor doesn't go lower. Because we want to... We're a good guy. We're not a bad guy. But I wanted to show you guys at least some of these missions here. Now there should be a... I think there's a signpost here. This will allow us to fast travel. So what I'm going to do now... Um, is fast travel to... Uh, 
the biggest city. Uh, they said the next one is free, so you can see all of the different areas that you can actually travel to. Tumbleweed, I think, is your quintessential um, tombstone type of place. Um, Saint Denis. All right, here we go. So you guys are, if you've never seen Saint Denis, now's your chance to see it. We're not showing it in our main gameplay story yet until we reach chapter four. This does not look like Saint Denis. Did I not select Saint Denis? I must have hit the wrong one. Did I not select Saint Denis? I misclicked. <laughs> Seems like something I'd do. Well, that's all right, though. I mean, if it's fast travels free, then we can take a look at a few different cities. This is more of a rundown. So I don't know. What city did I click on? Van Horn? Okay. How did I misclick that? I don't even know where to begin with that one. Morning. Molasses could outpace you. Feller's got a rest, don't he? Yeah, well, hey, you, know. you new here? Yeah. Boy's favorite whiskey. It doesn't look like this place has a uh, poker. Oh, it has a table for blackjack, Hi, but... How's about you come with me? You know me, working my fingers to the bone. Mm. Fine. I got better things to do with my time. I just said, yeah, I'll come with you. See ya. Thanks. Okay, where is... I don't know where it went. Where is... I think you can see it on the map if you go to the map. What is this? Featured series. Do you guys want me to try this featured series? Or do you want me... to go to St. Denis? Featured series or St. Denis? I always like to let you guys uh, choose what we do. I'm not even sure what the feature series covers. Just go to Saint Denis. All right. Well, more people's already said go to Saint Denis anyway. So okay. Now I know where it actually is. There's a lot to do in St. Denis, that's why I want to go there. What is that blue thing? Mean? All right. So I guess you're right. I guess I didn't have it on. What did I have it on then? Where is... It is so weird. The way they do this. So, is it going to, like, say, if I have my mouse here, but it's the red is on Coulter, which one is it going to go to? See what I mean? There. Now I definitely know I'm going to St. Denis. It was a blue, but it was like, um, it was like a star blue, so I didn't understand what it was. Usually players are just dots, blue dots. All right, now we're in the biggest city in the game, which is truly, truly amazing to look at. Come on. 
But if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right and get our horse. See, that's what I like about the online portion is the horse can be summoned wherever you are. Whereas in the main game, you have to be close to your horse or a certain amount of distance, depending on your level with the bond with the horse. Come here, my brony. You doing good, girl? You's a good girl. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're my little brony. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. All right. She's a magical horse. Let me get through. You won't get through, son. You're going to have to get through me. I mean, just look at the detail. See what I mean? When you're in a carriage, you can move your camera around freely, but when you're here, you gotta play freaking finger hockey. Well, maybe one of these streams, I, I'll team up with some of you uh, in the chat, and I'll join your guys' posse, and we can get into some misadventures. I think that'll be fun. I always and I really enjoy playing games with uh, people that watch the channel because Hello. I feel like most of the people that watch me were very like-minded. We like the same sort of things. We like to enjoy video games and we take it more seriously. Usually, the people that that, that play with me or that want to play with me are guys that that like to do good stuff, not necessarily like all the negative stuff. They're not griefers. Usually, the people that are in this community are not trolls. You know what I mean? Come on now. Get you. That looks so weird. That's a nice city, though. I think we're just on the outskirts right now, if I'm not mistaken. We need to go into the deep. Yeah, it is. It's a thing. It's like you have to play circle hockey with your with your fingers just to be able to do this right here. <laughs> it's so weird. Well, none of my friends' friends really play Red Dead Online. Most, I mean, really, a lot of my friends, they don't even play games, man, because they're military guys, and um, they you know, understand military people, most of the time, they don't have a lot of, uh, how do I say, they don't have a lot of time to play games when you're a military person, you know? But since I actually do this for a living, I can, you know, I have the time to do this. A lot of the guys that are my friends in real life, you know, that are not just people that I've met online or something like that, I don't really ever get to play games with them. Well, usually I think uh, there's a lot less modding and stuff that can happen in video games when you're playing on PC, or excuse me, when you're playing on console. So I can completely understand why, why some things would just be more enjoyable on console. I mean, just look at how beautiful this is. There's an actual player. But they're like kind of invisible, so I think they're in defensive mode, right? Is that what that means when they're invisible? That they're in defensive mode? See, this is so weird. Why does your horse get all like weird when you're My guess is that's what I look like to other players, right? Cuz you are defensive. Oh, okay. Cuz I'm defensive, that's why they look like that. But we have another stranger mission here. I can't get a second piece in this city. From the looks of it, it's the same type of mission that we had before because he's at the post office. But there's also some mail here too, so I'm wondering. Hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Collect deliveries, okay?
new source of employment, a batch of telegrams offering work, letters from Crips, and invitation to discuss business opportunities. Inspect a document. Uh, read. Letters from Crips. My friend, I need to talk to you urgently about a business proposition. A good one this time, I promise. Forget my latrine saddle idea. If I ever mentioned that, because uh, I finally found the golden ticket. Something lucrative and almost legitimate by my standards. It me that it plays to both our now. strengths. I don't either. want to put too much in writing, so I'll explain further when I see you. I've gone into town to pick up a few bits and pieces. Can you meet me at the general store there as soon as possible? Please hurry. Trust me when I say this is an opportunity you won't want to pass up. Yours, excitedly. Told me yesterday that there's now more lawbreakers than honest earning folks around here. No wonder we can't get ahead. I don't what was the other one though? I think I picked up two, right? How do you look at? I'm guessing it's it's in your here, right? Maybe. I don't understand where you pick it up. I just picked up a journal. I just picked up two things. So where do I? Maybe it's. Was it? Was it? Was it holding down R? It goes into your satchel. Which one was your satchel? I th wait, hold on. Was it? I want to move to Blackwater for years. Boom it town. High quality. Jay's your catalog. House next to a lake. What's not the love? Where? Which one was satchel again? Compass. Uh, I don't remember which one my saddle is, or my satchel is. No matter how B? much I work, I can't see. It's so confusing the way they do this. Let's see if we got the letter from Crips. Where's the other one? There was more than just the letter from Crips. Why is that not even in here? It's. Lady, I like Mother Nature more than Uncle Sam. I that's know it ain't popular. New source of employment. Now that's something. All right. Rich Pickens, Outrider. Well, I didn't even get it. Goodness, you wouldn't believe the kind of people that don't do here What did I just do? I clicked on it thinking that it was going to then tell me what I needed to do, but instead it just clicks on the mission and goes. Wagon carrying valuable cargo in need of protection. Escort it to its destination. Okay. Oh man, look at that. Dude, This I feel like I'm freaking playing in the movie Tombstone right now. Oh, that's so beautiful. As a level 276, you just taught me how to find telegram missions. <laughs> uh, you're still learning from the game, huh? And thank you for the subscription, by the way, dog. I appreciate it, bud. Choose to ride or alongside. I want to ride with. Obviously, we're going to need our weapon now. Okay, so first things first, I'm very, very low on my tonic. So that's not going to get me what I need. I need provisions. That's not going to get me what I need. Health. Nothing. I got nothing that gives me dead eye, unfortunately. That gives me dead eye, but it doesn't give me the dead eye I want. It gives me the core, not the. Oh, I'm actually pretty low on health too. Oh, my core.
core is low in health, but... Alcohol or smokes? Uh, well, it doesn't look like I have that, so... Oh my god, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's not as fun unless you have an actual controller that can, like, it, the game's system is just more made for the controller. It just is, in my opinion. Okay, that's weird. It put me over here instead of on the thing. Cool. Well, I took out the horse instead of... Go, 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 go. Oh god, I did it again, dang it. <laughs> it did the freaking... I really gotta change that in the settings. I just, I'm never gonna be as good with how shaky everything is. Unless I use a controller. Oh, they shot the freaking wagon driver. Oh, God. Guess I gotta do it myself. I have painted black. Oh, oh my god, I did it again. I, I, I'm just gonna hold it down instead of trying to tap it. Yeah, if you aim somewhere while driving goes in autopilot. Yeah, I cannot aim worth shit. It's just too glitched. It's too... I don't know how to say it. I just can't be smooth. You see what I mean? I can't be smooth, man. I'm definitely, I think next time I'm going to play with a controller because this is, it's just, just, it's just not smooth enough for me, mouse and keyboard wise. I mean, if I'm staying still, then it's a lot easier to do. But when you're moving around and stuff, it's not the same. I know, everyone's dead in five seconds when I use controller 2. Obviously, this is way more challenging, so I give it that. The challenging isn't always more fun, and I don't want you to, you can't think that either.
way too many. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm switching to... I can't do it anymore. I can't. It's just impossible. Out of line? Oh, I got a freaking... Come on. Alright, so I gotta I'm gonna plug in the computer. Alright. Alright. Now I'm hoping. Oh. If I remember hopefully I don't get confused because I've been doing the other for a while now. Alright. Center has been strained. That did not go according to plan. Yeah, see, it's just so much more of an enjoyable experience. I don't understand... I don't understand how anybody can play with a mouse and keyboard. Not in this game. Maybe if I'm playing it as a first-person shooter, okay yeah. Okay there. Well done for getting that cargo gear in one piece. One piece. I barely made it. But at least the guy survived. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, I'd probably need to clean my weapon to get better accuracy on it. Yeah, I should have just, uh, I wanted to try PC controls just to see how it was, but I don't recommend it at all. Unless you're so good at PC controls that it just feels weird to play a controller. You definitely feel more like a badass when you're playing with the controller as opposed to, what was that all about? Where'd you put me here? Oh, you put me back at Blackwater. Why? I started this mission. Well, I guess you don't end up where you started the mission. You end up where you end the mission, I guess. Uh. 
See, I don't need to tap A. I just, uh, I don't need to keep tapping. I just hit it once. So you can set that in the settings, of course, which makes your life so much easier. So you don't have to keep continually tapping A when you're running. I think the game just quit. I just heard a but a doom and now I can no longer play. So my guess is the game just crashed. Yep, it says game error, please reboot and restart the game. <laughs> what the heck? Has anyone else had that? The game crashes like that? That's crazy. Come on, we're this is 2021. Sheesh. Error Red Dead Online exited unexpectedly. Game error. Please reboot and restart the game. Please click retry below to enter the game again or click safe mode to launch the game with reduced graphical settings. If you continue to have problems playing this game, please contact Rockstar Game Customer Service at we don't like our fans and make it really hard and impossible by having the social club and the Rockstar Games launcher in order to be able to play our games because we really don't care about the consumer and we just want the money. Dot com. I mean, that's that's a really weird website to go to, don't you think? Uh, it seems... Uh, Seems like a really, really weird website to go to. But I think that's where we're going to end it today. I mean, I look at these as signs from God telling me, give your computer a rest strain. You're having a hard time right now. But uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, playing some Red Dead Online. And I want to bring this back. It's not going to be every week because we need to continue the, rock, uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. But I do want to bring this back more. So let me explain what tomorrow is going on. So tomorrow I am taking to actually finally finish up Resident Evil Village's Village of Shadows walkthrough that I have going on in the channel That's that I haven't done a video for in such a long time. I, I, there's only two videos left in the series. I want to finally finish that up. So we're not going to be streaming tomorrow. It's going to be my day off from streaming so I can focus on getting my walkthrough videos out that's the reason that I've given myself two days off. So I'm going to focus on walkthrough videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be spent streaming. Uh, that way I kind of have, I don't forget what started this channel, which is the professional walkthroughs that you all expect. I want to keep those going nice and strong. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to all the new subscribers that we got. Thank you uh, just for making this a fun stream and uh, you know talking to me. And hopefully I was able to... Make your Monday go by a little bit better. But other than that, if you aren't already, make sure you're uh, following me over on discord.gg. It's a great place for our community to get together and talk about games, hook up with other people that you want to play certain games with and stuff like that. Just feel like you're a part of a community um, and where no one's going to troll you. And it's just a good place to, to be. So that's what we try to do. Yes, thank you so much, Shadow. Uh, or Spooky actually said it first. Um, actually, Renee said it first. Um, all right, uh, let me, while I've got you right here, let me go back to that clip section. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it was in the stream that that happened. Meet Crips at your camp. I think it was after that. It was when we went to Blackwater. Yep, it was right after here. Okay. Yeah, here it is. All right, so this guy's coming up on me there. Gonna be a short one, obviously. It's not a very long. Of course, he stops by me. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Timing for two players online to run into each other. <laughs> right after he's waving at me and then he just <laughs> I think that's good alright create a title highlight we'll cut it to private for now and I'll get to editing it a little bit later but there we go 
It's not very long. It's only like a minute long, but. Oh, Veer said it first. Sorry, I, I couldn't read all the way up there. But uh, yeah, so thank you all uh, for tuning in. Uh, let me close that. I'm going to have to wait until that at least finishes before we end the stream. I want to make sure it does finish. It's uploading it right now. I love the ability that we have to be able to do those types of highlight clips. You can actually go on any video in my, um, and there it goes. All right, it's done. Sweet. You can actually go to, uh, any video on my channel and you can clip it yourselves. If you look, there should be a little clip icon, uh, that you can click on on desktop that allows you to, uh, to do that. So make sure you, if you've ever wanted to clip anything, uh, for funny moments that I may have missed or something like that, you can easily do that. So, um, other than that, uh, thank you all, uh, the next red dead online stream. Um, well, uh, that I'm not 100% sure, but red deads are always going to be on Monday. So either we'll be doing the single player story or we will be doing, um, online one or the other. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream and I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bitches.